All right, guys, you probably have noticed already the vehicle, the interior has changed. I do make a lot of videos in my trucks, but I do enjoy this platform and I enjoy talking to you guys from the truck. I think it's fun and I think that uh, it's my preferred way to make content. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about five reasons as to why I bought a Tundra, a Toyota Tundra again. Now, to start off, this is a 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition, so that's why there's all this leather and stuff. It is a really nice, really well-decked-out truck, and I definitely enjoy all the kind of nice uh, features that this truck has. But ultimately, I've been wanting, and if it wasn't kind of obvious by the illusions of, like, five reasons I hate my Tacoma, you know, I did like my Toyota Tacoma that I had previously to this, but it definitely was lacking in quite a few ways. And so I thought, so I have been scheming for a while to get a Tundra, so I finally did get a Tundra. Now, let's talk about some of the so before we get into the five specific reasons as to why I love the Tundra and why I got another one, the ultimate thing was too that I did previously have a Tundra before my Tacoma, and with my Tacoma, I went over to the Tacoma for a few reasons. Primarily improved gas mileage, um, it was a little bit smaller, easier to park in places, and there were a few expectations of it that I had that just weren't quite well lived. And so while the truck was reliable, it treated me well, I really didn't have any issues with it overall. It was a truck that I felt, once again, especially with things like gas mileage, with things like headroom, like there was no headroom in it for me, it just didn't fit my body body very well so I'm 6'2 and you know different your mileage may vary but you know the truck just overall did not fit me too well and I will say there were a lot of people because I did have the sunroof option to the truck a lot of people said like it was because of the sunroof this truck also has a sunroof and has lots of headspace you guys can see here um, hopefully so really it does come down to the Tacoma was pretty small and the ride was definitely rough there was a lot of road noise just overall things that were not very pleasant about it that I did not love. Now I will say the Tacoma did look really cool and I did enjoy driving it. It did have nice heated seats and everything and this one does as well but you know I did have a lot of nice perks to it. It was a very well optioned out Tacoma overall and to those people I also did put like uh, aftermarket suspension on it to try to help with the uh, rough ride. Still really didn't improve it that much but uh, overall like off-road it was a great vehicle but on-road which is where I ended up spending most of my time because it was a daily driver it was just really not an optimal vehicle. In addition to, ironically, I found myself getting stuck in it quite a bit on road and like in the snow and inclement weather. And I'm sure that there's always things you can change, but definitely I will say that I find the uh, wider body of the Tundra and the heavier weight of the Tundra to be a lot better when it comes to like snow slush ice. It just helps with your tires to like bite into those things. So like off road, I never really got it stuck, um, but on road or in adverse conditions like when there was snow and freezing rain I felt like the Tacoma really did not do that well at grabbing or digging into the ice or like uh, the traction just wasn't really there and so it ended up getting stuck quite frequently so and that was with really good tires as well and uh, yeah so I will say Tundra's definitely rule as far as like snow goes they definitely handle snow a lot better and uh, icy conditions so definitely keep that in mind but that was primarily like one of the driving forces was that I got the Tacoma because I wanted certain things that the Tundra couldn't offer but really finding out that things like the fuel economy were not that much better like I was getting about two to three miles a gallon uh, per gallon on average better in the uh, Tacoma as opposed to the Tundra but three miles per gallon really doesn't mean that much especially so, you know, really does not mean that much over the course of time. You know, it's kind of inconsequential. So the, that was definitely some of the driving force to why I got rid of the Tacoma. Okay, now let's actually talk about the five reasons why I like the Tundra or got another Tundra. Okay, so the first one, as I kind of alluded to, is that awesome V8. And the V8 in this thing, not only do I love the way that these Tundras sound, they just roar to life. Uh, they're so much fun in that regard, but uh, they have an excellent sound to them. I really do love the V8. I'm kind of impartial to, or sorry, kind of partial to the V8 of the Tundras. I have definitely a lot of time driving them, and I love the sound of them overall. So that was one of the driving forces, in addition, though, to not just the sound and the uh, extra horsepower but the extra towing capabilities and 
the extra performance uh, that the V8 allows over the 3.5 liter V6 of the newer Tundras and of the Tacoma definitely was a leading force for me to uh, want to get a V8 Tundra back. So the next one is, as you guys can probably tell, the cabin space. I hopefully can show it. I cannot at all go reach back there, but in my Tacoma from sitting here, I could literally just do this number and actually touch the back. And now I can come nowhere near the back. The crew cab, or I will say this is a crew max version of the Tundra. It is gigantic in here and uh, it almost sounds more echoey too. I've been processing some of the videos and it sounds a lot more echoey in here, which means there's a lot more room. And just in general, the wider cab, the longer cabin space definitely is appreciated. And from a practical standpoint, I not only like that because uh, I enjoy like having a bigger cabin, but it also really makes it much easier to put a lot of my outdoor gear. So when I'm packing and stuff out to do like camping trips you know if you're throwing pack rafts uh, backpacks sleeping bags sleeping systems as a whole you know you're throwing your freeze-dried food your uh, isobutane you know uh, kind of stoves and such um, <clears throat> you're throwing all that stuff in here and uh, ultimately it's really nice to have a, a cabin space that is large enough i mean you guys could probably tell in some of my videos when i had my uh, mystery ranch crew cab with the sleeping bag in like it was sitting in basically that seat right there that you guys can see it took up the whole seat and it was actually touching the back of the driver's seat and now granted i do have my you know seat kind of far back because i'm taller my legs are longer so i have some extra you know uh, length or i can have my seat back but uh, ultimately in that truck it was very tight and very cramped in the back and so there even though that was the largest cab option for the Tacoma it really was not large enough for me and made it hard to put camping gear like I said tents extra equipment and you know like pack things like dogs in for things like duck hunting so it was definitely not very convenient for actual living space and utility so that was one of the driving forces to why I got rid of it Okay, like I said and kind of mentioned, the towing hauling capabilities are much better with Tundras. They are rated for thousands of pounds more, and that is definitely a uh, contributing reason. While I don't tow and haul a whole lot, it's kind of one of those things that where, like, if you're living on your own and, uh, you know, you don't have, like, a second person or a significant other that has a truck, you know, you kind of have to be your own kind of person. So if I need to tow and haul things, I don't really have a lot of options outside of maybe some friends. But even then, you know, a lot of my friends don't actually have trucks. So it kind of comes down to the fact that I am my own, like, best savior in that way. That if I do need to tow and haul things, I have a vehicle that is totally capable. And in fact, this guy is actually pretty cool because uh, um, this one has different, like, this one has... Uh, a little bit better equipment and some aftermarket stuff on it to make it better for towing and hauling. So it doesn't necessarily boost its, you know, hauling capacity as far as weight, but less wear and tear on the overall system. So things like airlift shocks in the back definitely help with that. And so this one's pretty well equipped for towing and hauling. So once again, I don't do it a whole lot, but when I do need to, it's nice to have a truck that has that capability and capacity to do it, unlike the Tacoma unlike the Tacoma. Okay, next one up is going to be a smooth ride. And these guys, Tundras, are just unarguably, I mean, there are smoother rides out there. I think Ford's F-150 is pretty good too, is pretty good too. But at the same time too, as far as the Toyota lineup, Tundras are really smooth driving and really, really uh, nice on the road. Definitely a far cry from the Tacoma. Last one up is also going to be low road noise. This is one that I didn't really realize until driving a Tacoma a lot, but Tacomas are incredibly uh, loud on the inside when you're going like highway speeds. Uh, there is a lot of road noise in them, even the newer ones, because I had a 2017. Um, they are incredibly noisy on the inside. And while it's not like horrible, it definitely is noticeable. It definitely is noticeable, and it is a big difference between a Tundra and a Tacoma. You're far more insulated in a Tundra, and uh, ultimately, it's just so much more quiet. 
Okay, so those have been the five reasons, the top five reasons why I got a Tundra again. Of course, I'm sure people are going to debate and say, you know, oh, the Tacoma's better and such. And, you know, Tacoma's definitely have their pros. I didn't hate having my Tacoma, but I was definitely ready to get back to a full-size truck. Um, I definitely enjoy the capacity that a full-size truck has. And, you know, once again, especially when it comes to like moving things, you know, moving uh, like furniture and stuff, the Tacoma was very hard to fit things like mattresses, couches, stuff like that in the back. And so from a pure utility standpoint, it's nice to have a Tundra because you have the ability to, uh, you know, you have the ability to move a lot of things and, or like haul things, carry things and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, hopefully enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.